We're driving you into 2016 with fine literature, great cafes, and video game legend. How are you a video game legend? You blast a lot of aliens. Huh? A lot. This is my scene TV. Happy Holidays, this is My Scene TV. He's Javon H. And you're watching our mid-season finale. That's right, we're closing out 2015 in awesome stuff. I mean, we got local tasty treats, haunted literature, Korean craft beers, and food and fashion Dallas style. Plus an interview with a video game legend. But we're gonna start things off with me at a little hidden jump underneath the Perkins Road overpass. Everybody knows what that is, called Magpie Cafe. Stop talking. We'll explain the name later. And this is my CTV. He's Javon H. from Ozzy and TV. We're at Magpie Cafe right underneath the Perkins Royal Overpass. And I'm here with the owner, Mr. James Jacob. Mr. Jacob, hey, thanks for are having you? Doing great. Thanks for having us on. So uh, tell me a little bit about Magpie. Who is Magpie? So uh, Magpie Cafe is really a, um, is a uh, marriage of two passions within the marriage. So my wife and I own the business. And we both had careers and she was really um, passionate about local and seasonal foods and I was passionate about coffee right. and so we thought that when the uh, right space became available this particular building that we would uh, organize get organized leave our jobs and our careers and start Magpie so that's what it is it's an espresso bar that features local seasonal and organic foods what are all kind of things that you guys serve? So uh, we really evolved a lot. Uh, we started out wanting to be a really cool espresso bar that served the highest quality specialty coffee. And the place was kind of built out that way. When you come in here, you know it's service at the counter. And, um, and we were always going to be kind of like you're here hanging out. You know, it's a really cool vibe, really cool scene. And while you're here, if you want to get a sandwich, a fresh soup, a fresh baked scone, we would have that. But what's happened is, is the Baton Rouge culinary scene has just popped so well that we came out with our fresh, seasonal, local menu. It surpassed anything else we were doing. So we kind of had changed gears midstream, and we started coming out and we were more and more food. But we also was uh, another marriage of something else that's really cool, and that is in the Seattle and Portland area. They're really big into um, crafting coffee. So instead of just kind of brewing a pot of coffee, they kind of hand craft them, what they call pour overs. So we're really big into that. And you can have that cup of coffee in different ways. And you've all hosted some events recently, so tell us about that. I think I saw one as recently as last night. Yep. On our Instagram and our Twitter and our Facebook, uh, we'll post our uh, supper social. And what that is, is a way for us to come in once a month and have our chefs, our culinary team here, and our my wife, Alina Jacobs, who's over, she's our culinary strategist. She uh, features a five course dinner, uh, sold to 16 seats in the cafe once a month. And you also told me earlier that you have a second location in downtown. Tell us a little bit about we that. We do, it's gonna be um, on 3rd Street, 3rd and Laurel. So you know the little restaurant row, you got a lot of those popular restaurants. Right in the heart of everything. Yeah, um, by, by the new grocery store down there. We're going to be right in the heart of all of that. Amazing. And um, tell us how can the people at home get in contact with you? we got a website at uh, uh, www.magpie.cafe. Mm -hmm. On Twitter, Instagram, all the socials. We are um, at magpie underscore cafe. 
And Facebook is Magpie Cafe Perkins Overpass. Simple enough. Clearly, really very popular because it really is really is really is thriving. I love it. From the moment I set foot in here, I was already upset. So I'm like, you know, I definitely want to add this to my list of favorite places. So, Mr. James Jacobs, again, thanks for having me. Thank you. Amazing. Time's up. He's Javon H. This is my CTV. We're out. You know, with great food and a beautiful view, plus a second magpie open in downtown, there's really no excuse not to keep it local. But next, let's dig into a horror story. Come back for the fright. I know, right? This is my CTV. P.L. Jones had no idea that researching for her books in Louisiana could be so dangerous and that her labor of love might have brought her to the gates of hell. The Rose Down Seminary series. This is my scene TV. Hey guys, it's P.L. Jones. Um, we are getting ready to go see the big tree. If you've read Bound by Blood, you will know the magic of this tree. And we are excited to take you on this journey. If you don't see me ever again, I have a Ziploc bag for my phone. So, we love you all. Dedication to the craft. Welcome My Sing TV, your girl to Shay LeBeau, and I'm here with two of my really, really good friends, and they just become really, really good friends. They were just really good friends before that. I met you guys last year at Louisiana International Film Festival. This is P.L. Jones and Mac Morris. How are you guys doing? Fabulous. Thanks. And? I'm great, thanks for asking. Absolutely, well you know what, Arthur, writer, editor, all kind of good stuff going on here. Girl, talk to me. You have a series, seven book series, Rosedown Seminary. Talk to me about your writing. Well, um, it's a young adult supernatural fiction uh, based out of Rosedown Plantation in small town St. Francisco. Woohoo! Go team. Yes, go team. Yes. And um, it's uh, about uh, this young group of kids that um, they discover not only are they teenagers, uh, they're supernatural. So they are uh, bound to face evil, demons, they battle everything, they have to save the world. So there's a proverbial love triangle, you've got hormones raging, you've got uh, shape-shifting, vampires, werewolves, fallen angels, Nephilim. So move over the originals and Vampire Diaries because uh, Rosedown Seminary is coming out, right? Yes, yes the first book is already published, uh, the second one is going through publishing, and Mac and I came down here not only to see the big tree again, We'll get into that, um, but to uh, finish writing the third book, The Skeleton Key. In this, you were already writing about, which is how you kind of met Mac, already writing about some of his family members, and so kind of fate. Yeah, um, there's um, uh, Garden del Almas, and I don't want to get too much into it, um, is uh, Grace Episcopal Church in St. Francisville, and his family are actually buried there. So okay. they become the protectors. My family is the protectors of the, in the book, my family are the protectors of the portal of hell. So we go out on a trip to try and find it. It ended up being a kayaking trip because every time we've come down, the rivers have been too up. And um, so we end up going kayaking, and the kayak had a hole in it. So you almost died? Yeah, we almost died. It included snakes, alligators, wading through swamps, chest high, alligators swimming parallel with us. Anyway, talk to me, girl. Website. Oh, there's so much to tell, and there's bound by blood. Yeah. Come on, girl. T talk to me. Websites, Facebook. You can get the synopsis on my website, pljones.webs.com. Um, also have a Facebook page, facebook.com slash Rosedown Seminary, mm -hmm. and facebook.com slash pljones, author. That's my author page. So, um, yeah, you can, you can find it in stores, online, everywhere. Okay, so book one, already out. Go get it. They're, we're working on the third. They're working on the third book. We're working on it. Or you better write about me. I'm just saying, I'm, I'm trying to survive. Guess what, guys? This is My Scene TV. Check us out. Stay tuned. On our website, MyScenetv.com. Your girl, Shay Laveau. Here we Every artist knows that you suffer for great art. And PL and Mac understand this very well, as do I. But next, we're going to head off for some beer, wings, fashion, and decadent foods. Where are we going? What y'all talking fast for? Go get it. This is My Scene TV.
So we've had our scare, but now it's time to relax with some craft beers and snacks Korea style. But bring a change of clothes because then we're gonna jet off to Dallas for the dine and design event. This is my scene TV. Welcome back to My Scene TV. We are at Alleyway Tap House slash The Big Chill with Edward, the man, Jorgensen. How's it going, bud? Good. Thank you, sir. Good to see you again. Yeah, good to see you, as so, always. So, there is a wonderful place right beneath us yes. called The Big Chill, and it's so quaint, it's wonderful, it's got a great vibe. Tell me more about it. Well, I guess to begin, a little bit of background. Um, we opened the bar in October of 2009, so we decided as a hobby that uh, we'd open The Big Chill downstairs. So I see you're advanced, you guys do trivia, you have wing nights, you've got lovely drinks, excellent cocktails, soju, you've got everything to please everybody that could ever walk through the door. Uh, so let's talk about the menu a little bit, like what, what can I expect if I'm hungry and I, I, I go to the Big Chill, like what can I get? Okay, I'll have to be honest with you on that one. Um, it, the bar itself, basically we do appetizers, we are not a restaurant, so you'll get your standard bar food fare. Um, the appetizers are good. The big selling point I guess that we do have, we do a poutine and we do bring the gravy from Canada so people do seem to say in the area it's the best around. So I am vlogging that. No one hates that, right? <laughs> and you got pizza. But we do a lovely pizza along with hot sauce in case that's your thing and that's my thing. Pizza and hot sauce just makes me really, really happy. So that's the big chill. You guys do loads of things and we're going to put the Facebook link on the screen. Boom! There it is for you to check it out for all your pleasure and lovely enjoyment. But Okay, just so that people are aware as well, when it comes to the Big Chill, we only open four days a week. As okay. I say, it is a hobby. We're back now having our regular daytime jobs. So we're open Wednesdays through Saturdays downstairs from 8 p.m. Wednesdays wing night until 2 a.m. Thursdays trivia night, which is actually a really popular event for us. And again, that's a 2 a.m. close, but Friday, Saturdays. Until? Until. Until whenever. Until. Who knows? The party never stops at the Big Chill. <laughs> So then right above that, which is where we are now, is called Alleyway Tap House. Yes. And live music, great equipment, um, the sound is great, but let's talk about the real focal point, which are the beers that you have, because they're all craft beers, they're wonderful, and in Korea, that is quite hard to come by. The selection that you have is it's quite vast, it's impressive, and we can't see that everywhere. So let's talk about the beers, like how'd you come up with that idea, the concept, Okay, well, it's kind of a niche market, I guess. That's it. Uh, craft beer in Korea is expanding these days. Um, so we kind of wanted to tie in together, let's say, the live music, which is something that I've always wanted. I'm, I'm a drummer such as yourself. Great drummer. And Thanks. good band is going to be playing tonight, so we're really looking forward to it. And on top of that, yeah, I, I really like beer. I've had the bar downstairs for, as I said, six years, and it was just kind of one of those directions that we were flowing into. And with the craft beer scene that is starting to expand, we wanted to be the first in Suwon to kind of fit and grab that market. Yeah, so it's wonderful, it's great. If you have a chance, please check it out. It's not far from Suwon Station. Um, it's a lovely place. There's almost music here every weekend. We're also going to put the uh, Alleyway Tap House's Facebook page here so you can check it out for yourself. And it's just wonderful. We're going to play here tonight. We're looking forward to the show. We're and thank you, as always, for having us, Edward. Yes. You're a great dude. Appreciate it. Welcome back to My Scene TV. From everyone in South Korea, especially from me and the city of Suwon, we want to wish you all a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And may your new year bring you wonderful blessings, joy, good luck, and prosperity. out there how you doing my name is Ty Larson and I'm at the second annual dine and design event who I'm here with this lovely lady is Lauren Ramos Lauren Ramos this is the lady that's put all this together it's been beautiful out here 
Lauren, why don't you tell us a little bit about what you guys are doing? What do you have set up here? Well, first of all, I'm a part of a team. This isn't a one-man show, but um, this is Design and & Dine. It's our second annual event, and we basically feature five local area designers that are up and coming. Uh, two of them actually were featured in New York Fashion Week earlier this year. So really? They're well on their way to stardom, and um, we just get to show people what's out there in Dallas. You know, it's, it, it's not every day you can see what's out there in the area. So, um, and there's also a charity aspect of it, a portion of the proceeds go to Junior League of Collin County, which we're super proud of. And um, That's cool. We love the kids. So yeah. we love the kids. <laughs> Always good to help the kids. <laughs> yes. So it's a lot of fun. Everybody had a great time. And there, there's, we can't ask for anything else. So. Right. Also, tell them about the restaurants and uh, the local vendors that you have coming here. So we're out in Plano, and a lot of people don't know that Plano is a happening place, too. You know, you think of Dallas and uptown, but Plano is a lot of fun too. So we feature a lot of the area restaurants. <laughs> <laughs> it's really happening here. This has been an awesome show. It's really great. So, um, if, if my guests out there, my people want to know or want to get in touch and get in contact with you, how would they go about doing it? How do they learn about what you're doing? Well, we have a lot of events. You know, this is just one of our many. We have about 20 marquee events every year. We'd love for people to get involved and be a part of it. Um, and basically what you would do would be to go to cbsdfw.com and get in touch with us. There's a contact page. We'd love to, you know, get people's ideas and how we can make events better. Um, we have some events that are going on five years now, so we'd love wow. to tweak them and, you know, refresh them a little bit. So it's pretty easy if you just go online and get in touch with us. Make sure we can get that uh, my scene audience Absolutely. into what you're doing. We'd love so to have you thank, guys. Yeah, we thank you for having us out there. We appreciate you. Absolutely. You guys keep tuned, watch what they're doing, and I, I just appreciate you. This is Ty Lawson signing off for my scene TV Dallas. Hi family out there, how you doing? This is Ty Larson with My Scene TV Dallas. Right now I want to take this time out to wish all you guys a happy holidays, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. Knowing that we're going to have more things prepared for you in the upcoming year. So stay tuned and be prepared for what we have for you. Don't miss out. This is Ty Larson signing off. Jude and Ty will have a lot more to share with us from Korea and Dallas when we return in February. Plus some other surprises in store. But next... Commander Shepard speaks. I have no clue what that means. We'll get to you later. This is my CTV. About video games. I got you. It's the holiday season and video games are on most people's wish list. But first, let's meet Commander Shepard of the Mass Effect series. Or better yet, Mark Mir. You talk a lot. This is my scene TV. Amazing couple. They met in Florida some years back, but these guys, ugh, tell me what you do. This is Mark Meir. Now, Mark, you are the voice of Commander Shepard. Yes, right? in the uh, Mass Effect trilogy from Bioware. It's a video game for those who don't know. That's uh, I didn't know, but my son knew. Mm -hmm. He was very well aware of what oh, I'm was glad going to hear on. it. Yes, and we are here with his beautiful wife who has this lovely accent. Yes, she does. Miss Belinda Hi. Carnage. Hi. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. <laughs> I love it. So tell oh. me how tell me how you guys met. Uh, we met at the Orlando Fringe Festival in right. uh, 1999, before the turn of the century, which means it was such a long time ago. It was a while. It was a while. Um, yeah, we were doing theater right. sports for those who know what theater sports is. It's right. a, um, something I've got to get into. It it's sounds great. Like it's yes. hilarious. It's a, it's a competitive improv format. It's really right. funny. Um, yeah, so we met doing that. And, uh, and they you're got married originally and from London. I am. And you were from 
Canada. Uh, yeah, I'm from uh, Canada, Edmonton, Alberta, uh, and right. uh, I managed to uh, lure Belinda there and keep her there. So he did a good job, right? Yeah. I'm sure. Sure. He could tell you that better than me. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. I love it. <laughs> well, good deal. Well, tell me, how did you guys end up in Louisiana? What are you doing here? Um, well, we're here with, with CFX. Right. It's CFX, a wonderful special effects company. company. That's yeah. right. Has, has brought us down to, to work with them. This is the second occasion we've actually been down to visit. And it's just wonderful. We love right. it. We love them. They're brilliant. They're not even paying me to say that. They're fantastic. That is wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Well, Mark, you were a fan of their work. And that's how you got involved uh, with yes. actually this yeah. What's going on with them right now? Right? Yeah, I'm uh, I'm a big fan of Halloween. We both are, actually. Right. Halloween is our wedding anniversary. Your anniversary? You were yes. telling me that's amazing. Mm -hmm. 12 years now? 12 years, just this that's last Halloween. You guys rock. Oh, thank you. And, uh, and so, of course, I, I do have an interest in costumes and masks and monster makeup and that sort of thing. And uh, CFX is, uh, is a great company. I found out about their product. And so I think uh, last time I was here, uh, the words uh, kid in a candy store got mentioned several times because I was pretty happy to get to, uh, to visit their studio. That's amazing. W what's your favorite mask? It's hard to pick a favorite. Really? So yeah. there's no favorites? It's like, oh, I need one of each? Uh, I do need one of each, actually, yeah. <laughs> I'm, I've, I've only got about six of their masks at this point. Got one. Yeah, we, yeah. Uh, we, we'll probably want more of their masks in the future. They're just, yeah, they're fantastic. So you guys are definitely fans of the creepy, right? Big fans. Okay, Big now talk fans. to me about, you come here, you get to play with all these masks. Now, what are you going to do with these masks? going to what's the improv what are you doing your show that's going on with that yes talk to me uh, well today we're gonna do a little bit of in-character improvisation uh, as we mentioned we're both uh, improvisers and uh, so we're used to that so we're gonna get into character wear some of the masks and do some stuff for uh, this uh, TFX YouTube channel and website that's right you know what guys I really appreciate you being here not at all thank you my scene TV they're gonna scare the hell out of me for the rest of the year what is going on I don't know Thanks so much. Stick around, my scene TV. Like I said earlier, Mark is a video game legend, and even though his character is not scheduled to be in his next game, we're sure that Shepard will somehow return. Speaking of returns, like I said, this is our mid-season finale until we return February 6, 2016. And we return it in ways including. Come on. You got Mr. Gabby Johnson, true find the game, huh? It's your girl, it's Angela Faye. Like we were saying, we return in ways legendary. But first, it's time to grab your phones, grab your MacBooks, grab your TVs, because it is social media time. That's why you can find us at MyCNTV.com. YouTube. YouTube. Facebook. Twitter alert. Yep, Twitter. And also, we got a brand new Instagram. Say yes. what? Yes, finally, we're on Instagram, at MyCNTV. No spaces, no underscores. At MyCNTV. But first, let's take a selfie. Sure. So whiskey. 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 Nice. Naturally, don't forget to check out WFB 90s at 5, 6, and 10 for all of the best local stories. This is Devon H signing you off, wishing you and yours a happy holidays and a blessed 2016 as we close out with Eve 6. This is my scene. CV.